What's up, everybody? Anton Crayley here from Dropship Lifestyle. And in today's episode, I'm gonna be sharing what I believe to be the best way to invest your first $1,000 into Google Ads for an e-commerce store. Now, before I share my screen and we get into this, you should just know that when you do go into Google Ads and click Create a Campaign, you're gonna see tons of different campaign types. And once you choose a campaign type, you're just gonna see more and more options that become available to you. And this specific episode is not gonna be some complete Google Ads tutorial. If that's what you're looking for, something a little more advanced, what I'll do is in the description of this episode, post a link to a complete Google Ads tutorial that I created. That should be very helpful and answer some of those more advanced questions. But this specific episode is designed to either help those that are creating their Google account for the first time, looking to set up ads for their e-commerce store and invest their first thousand dollars, or people out there that have tried Google ads in the past, maybe are currently running them, not seeing the results they want from those campaigns and looking for a better way to structure their account. So I'm gonna keep this pretty simple because honestly, it does not have to be complex and in the beginning it shouldn't. But again, the assumption here is that you are willing to invest $1,000 into Google ads because you know they work for e-commerce stores and you want them to work for your business. And what we're gonna do with this $1,000 budget is split it up three ways, but not evenly. We're gonna do in 85, 10, five split. And that's just percentages. So what that looks like is we're gonna take $850 of our total budget. We're gonna take $100 of our total budget. And then the 5%, we're gonna take $50 of our total budget. And again, we're gonna put them into different campaign types. That should all work, if not from day one, within a few days when they start to kick in. And this is where that $1,000 budget is going to go. Now, the biggest chunk of this budget, the $850, is going to go to getting people that are already searching for what you sell. The best way to do that with Google Ads is through Google Shopping campaigns, and my advice is to create two of them. We create a campaign that is called Alpha, and we create a campaign that is called Beta, and these are both, again, shopping campaigns that include all of our products. Now, why do we create two when they all have the same products in them? Well, it's because when it comes to Google Shopping ads, even though they're so powerful, you cannot use keyword targeting. The keywords that people type in that trigger or show your Google Shopping ads are based on your product feed, which is basically all of the data from your product pages. And because that's how it works, if you just have one campaign, shopping campaign, with all of those products in it, then you really can't control how much you want to spend for different keywords or for different products. You can set it at the product level, we do do that, but it's easier if you can kind of have what I would consider a catch-all campaign that can catch some of the more broad keyword searches. For example, if you sold chandeliers, one of your campaigns can catch keywords like chandeliers or home lighting or lighting decor, things like that, while your other campaign can pick up those keywords that are gonna be most profitable. Think things like brand names, product names, and SKU numbers. And again, the way we do that is by creating two campaigns, an alpha and a beta, and adding negative keywords to each of them to filter products through to get to the more profitable campaign. At least again, the ones that have those product names, brand names, and SKU numbers. Now, the purpose of this episode is not to go through how to do that in detail. If you're a member of my coaching program, The Dropship Blueprint, that is covered, of course, in module six. I will link to that resource below this lesson. But just know that is where I recommend putting $850 of your budget. I think in an average month that works out to somewhere like $28 a day. So when you're creating these campaigns inside of Google Ads, again, you're gonna create two shopping campaigns, and then what you're going to do is create a shared budget. I will also link to documentation below this lesson from Google that explains how to create a shared budget between two campaigns. It's very simple. But what that means is now, instead of, again, doing $14 and $14 or you know a split of that 28, you're just gonna have that set shared between these two campaigns. Campaigns. So even though there are two, they act as one in terms of money spent. Next campaign is with this $100. This is going to go towards your Google remarketing. So I'm just gonna put RM for remarketing, but very specifically, when you create this inside of Google Ads, you're going to set it up as a display campaign, and you're going to make sure when you set up this display campaign that you link a dynamic feed. What is dynamic feed? That is your product feed that basically gives Google all of the information about your products and the people that you are targeting with this $100. I'll just draw an arrow here, just go back. 
that the people that you're targeting are going to be the recent website visitors that haven't bought. So that's why I said some of your ads might take a few days to start showing in the beginning, because in the beginning, all of your traffic is going to be coming from your alpha and beta campaigns. And then your retargeting campaign will basically click in and start showing once that audience size gets big enough, but you can create it from day one so that your audiences start filling up. And once there's enough people, Google will start showing these and they will be some of your highest return on ad spend ads that you run. Now, what does that break down to per day? Between three, four bucks, not much, right? So let's just call it four to make math simple here. And I'll just put $4 a day here. And then that will bring us to the final campaign for how you're gonna spend your first $1,000. And again, I'm doing this for this experiment on a one month time horizon. If you wanna spend the money slower, obviously you could do that. If you do wanna spend it faster to try to get results faster, of course that's possible. But honestly, in the beginning, I do think it's best to actually have it spend over time. That way, as all of this is spending, your ads are getting impressions and clicks and sales. You can see what's working and you can up update your ads over time to make them even more profitable. So instead of saying, you know what, Anton, I have $100,000 to invest in ads. I'm gonna spend $1,000 tomorrow and see what happens. That's not a good strategy, even if you have the money to burn. Spend it in the beginning over a longer time horizon so that you can see data from your ads and make informed decisions and adjust your campaigns accordingly. Which, by the way, again, I have a full training on how to do that in module six of the Dropship Blueprint. But that brings us to the last campaign, our smallest budget campaign here of these three for the $50. And I'll just do this one up here so that you could see it. And this is going to be in a search campaign on Google. And these are the uh, basically the ads that you see when people search on Google and you see text at the top and it says sponsored. And what we're gonna do here is create a very small budget campaign. In this case, if you wanna call it you know, $2 a day, very, very small. Don't worry, you're not gonna have competition, so you don't really need to worry about it. But this campaign is only going to be targeting keywords and the keywords are going to be for your store name. So if your store name was chandeliersplus.com, your keywords in this campaign would be phrase match for chandeliers plus, chandeliers space, space plus, things that people would search for when they wanted to come back to you. So I'm just gonna call this a brand campaign here. And what's gonna happen is instead of people finding your competitors or maybe you in the beginning not being ranked high organically, instead of people clicking other sites when they're trying to find you again, this very small budget campaign will allow them to see you right at the top of Google when they're trying to get back to your store. They will click those ads, they'll go back to your store, they'll be able to order, you will make more money. So overall guys, pretty simple. Again, I didn't get into how to do all this in this lesson. I will link in the description to a more advanced Google Ads tutorial that I recently created. And of course, if you're a member of my coaching program, the Dropship Blueprint, that shows how to do all of this from A to Z and that's module six. Uh, also, if you're watching this and for some reason you're not yet a member of my coaching program, the Dropship Blueprint, it's the only program to ever be voted best e-commerce course by Shopify. And what I'll do is in the description, post a link that you can go to to get a free training from me, plus a list of 500 profitable product ideas for 2024, plus a special offer on that program. So that's dropshipwebinar.com. Link will be in the description. So as always, guys, thank you. I appreciate you. And I'll talk to you in the next one. See everybody.